Anish Vora and I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about uh, error detection code. We have two different types of code. One is error detection code and one is error correcting code. But in this video lecture, we will study about uh, error detection code. Before we start uh, our error detection code, let us see what exactly we mean by error. We have digital system and in digital system all the information we know that it is stored in binary form. In binary form meaning is all the information is either in zero or in one form. Sometime it may be possible that we have to transmit or we have to transfer information from one circuit to another circuit. So during the transit of the signal, it may be possible that there may be error generated. So there is a possibility of error while transmitting binary signal that is our information from one circuit to another circuit. So what exactly we mean by error? that zero suppose we have information zero then zero is converted into one same way if we have one and then one is converted into zero so actual value might be zero or might be one and because of error it is converted either in 1 or in 0. So that is our error. And the possibility of error that is because of electrical noise or transit. So we have to detect. First we have to detect. Then we can correct it. So whether there is a error it should be known. So that is known as a detection. So we have error detection code. We have total 8-bit data and out of 8-bit data, 7 bits are known as data bits and additional 1 bit that is known as a parity bit. So parity bit will decide whether it is, whether there is error or not. So we have 7 bits. And all 7 bits are actually data. So it is known as data bits. And we have one additional bit. And that additional bit is known as parity bit. In error detection code, as we discussed earlier, that uh, based on the parity code, we can decide that whether there is error or not. And it is known as the detection. We have two different types of uh, parity generator that is a odd parity generator and another one that is even parity generator. Let us study first uh, odd parity generator. In case of odd parity generator, parity bit is added in such a way that in total 8 bit data number of 1 are odd again i repeat that uh, we generate a parity bit so parity bit is added in such a way that total in total 8 bit data number of ones are odd for example in 7 bit data if total 1 are even then we have to make it odd. So parity bit will be, must be 1. Same way in 7, data, uh, 7 bit data, if total 1 are odd, if it is already odd, then parity bit will be 0. This is for the odd parity generator. We Earlier we discussed that we have two different types of parity generator one is odd parity generator and one is even parity generator 
in case of odd parity generator our number of 1 in total 8 bit data should always be odd number and if it is not odd our parity bit is added in such a way to make it is odd number right let us take one example then it will be very clear we have parity bit we have total 7 bit data and odd parity how to make it odd parity suppose we take one number that is 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 now it is 7 bit data this is actual data and then we have to add one parity bit but now if we analyze this 7 bit data we can see that uh, in 7 bit data total number of 1 are 3 so that is odd so it is already odd number so parity bit will be 0 so parity bit we have to add it and that is 0 if it is already odd number then we have to add parity as a 0 because this is odd parity generator same way if we take another example suppose we take a one number that is 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and if we analyze our 7 bit data then we know that in 7 bit data total number of 1 are 4 and that is even number so now in case of odd parity generator we have to make total number of 1 as a odd number so if we add 1 then it becomes 5 and then it is odd number so parity bit will be 1 so parity bit is 1 same way if we go for even parity generator then parity bit is added in such a way that in total 8 bit data number of 1 are even see this is error detection code so at the end we should when we decode our information if we know that it is a that is odd parity generator or even parity generator then we can accordingly we can detect whether there is a error or not so in case of even parity generator in 7 bit data if total 1 are even then parity bit must be 0 in 7 bit data if total number of 1 are odd then we have to make it even so parity bit must be 1 let us take one example so it will be very clear parity bit 7 bit data and even parity suppose we take same number suppose 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 and if we analyze then we know that in 7 bit data total 1 are 3 and that is odd number but now it is even parity generator we have to add parity bit in such a way that total number of 1 becomes even number so parity bit must be 1 same way if we take another example and if we take the same number 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 and if we analyze we know that in 7 bit data total 1 or 4 so it is already even number so we have to add parity bit in such a way that it remain even number so parity bit must be 0 so this way we have simple error detection code in some another lecture we'll see about error correcting code there are certain limitation of uh, error detection code because if there is an error of a single bit then this our parity error detection code will be applicable thank you for watching my video keep watching Thank you very much.